Hello, my friends. What's up? Chill Gam. You saw, I saw your video and I concluded that it sounded like a keyboard. Mm. One drunk man, hello. Crazy Derp Turtle. Henry Zambuman, hello. Lucas, John, Rivius. Kingdom, LF Kingdom. Would have been nice if that fan on the top left said KVD. <laughs> Chongasaurus, what's up? Good day, friends. Good day, good day. So, y'all notice anything new about the stream? It new? Not about the screen here, but it maybe in your chat box. Maybe in the bottom of the page. Oh, yeah, sure. New, new deathmatch. Sure. Um, I, I change deathmatch frequently, so... Uh, mostly because of photos. I, I, I change it for photos and I end up taking pictures and then I keep those. So yeah, you got tea this time? Oh yeah, I got tea. Uh, last bag of uh, this Roybo's um, Honeybush tea. So you're a full-time streamer? No. No, 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 no. I definitely am streaming a lot, but uh, that's just because I'm... It's slowed down. This week is slowed down um, because of... COVID things, COVID things are slowing things down. Um, like, so I work in a research lab and uh, normally we would have to acquire a lot of data. Um, but this week things are slowing down because COVID things are happening. Mostly we just don't get as many uh, data sets kind of to, to acquire. Um, can't hear you because I'm working? Oh, I see. Is the sound okay? All right, so butt on the macro pad. Yeah, butt on the macro pad. What do you do research in? Um, I work in uh, imaging. I work in, I do uh, imaging, tissue imaging, um, a specific modality called OCT. And we use it for, um, like different applications in like medicine normally, whether it's like diagnostics or characterizing tissue, studying tissue, um, things like that, analyzing it. Uh, so it's useful for people like uh, like cancer patients who need to regularly check in. It's useful for like people who get biopsies often to sort of like track their diseases and stuff. Curious on when you got where you got that this map. I've seen the cherry variant of it. The Topper one was only sold by Key Clack. It was a Key Clack design, and KeyClack.com used to sell it, but uh, that was a long time ago. So I don't think they sell it right now. I mean, their 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 store is closed right now. So, um, so yeah, we have new badges. Well, actually, completely new badges. Bueno builds. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, and so I can show you guys what I mean by the new badges. So I think they should sum it up, but we have one month, three months, six months, nine months, a year, and then I actually have more ready, but uh, I'll add them. If I hit partner, when will that happen? I have no idea. Um, I'll reapply again soon. Big time nerd here, but that's really cool. <laughs> it's not to incentivize you to sub, but I'm just saying that, hey, Thor0621, thank you so much for subbing with Prime Gaming. Oh, did they change that to Prime Gaming now? Uh, sometimes it used to say Twitch Prime, but now it says Prime Gaming. That's actually new. But thank you, uh, Thor, for the sub. Welcome back for three months actually you got the new three month badge so as you can see the one month badge is like a bronze the three month badge is silver and then you get gold and then so on uh you should do a subathon subathon only if i can make that much time and also activities for that that long you know because i think the problem with a subathon is also having enough activities during that whole time and it is a lot of time though. 
So yeah, I would be, I would be more inclined to do so when I have enough like content and stuff. But right now I, I, I don't. So, well, like, I mean, I've been streaming a lot, but it's kind of like independent. And so I would have to sort of accumulate things. I would want to have like sponsored like giveaways and whatnot. Yeah. Inter inter interviews with people. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to make it somewhat interesting for sure. How are you today, Bamboo? Hello, I'm doing well. You using the ogre right now? Yes, this is the the ogre. Hey, basic. Hey, congrats on your very successful subathon. I'm glad you finished strong. Um, you even managed to somehow write like a, a love letter to your to your Discord while ending very strong so like that's just impressive I, I can't like that's a lot of brain power and resilience just very impressive um so congrats congrats on that um so today we're gonna be building a kbd 8x mark ii uh it's like maybe like the fourth one i've built so far um and um, today actually it's a little different actually before I I think every time I actually built it built the ADEXs with tactiles like holy pandas zelios among other things and I think for the first time we're building a KBD ADEX with linears which is something I've kind of wanted to do um so yeah have you tried Durok v2 stamps no because I haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen them um, I haven't seen them in I haven't seen them in NA stores. I, I, I still haven't been see, been able to see them anywhere else right now, like to order. So I don't know. Diviniki has them? Oh, okay. Well, I might order some, but honestly, uh, I, I do want to run through my stabs first. I have a lot of stabs. I have a lot of cherry stabs. So yeah, kind of want to run through those. It, I just, it just think, I just think it's a little bit wasteful to, you know, to not use my stabs. All right, so I actually have a few unboxings. So just two boxes we have today, two unbox. So the first box is from Novel Keys. Tornado. Hey broski, you cute, you cute mother father. I wonder who this tornado is. Do you know me? Do we know each other? My raid happened before me crying and giving my final word, so I wanted to write it before I did that. <laughs> I see. Good job though. I mean, that's just impressive. I know a very handsome man when I see one. Whew, hair flip. My hair is actually kind of like medium length and like it's very uncomfortable because you know how like it's like the length where it kind of gets stuck in the middle but it also doesn't like m like you know it doesn't move as a whole at the same time it's, it's not short enough to be comfortable. Um, I would know I have curly hair. Oh okay. Well, I don't have curly hair. Oh I mean I have like half curly I guess. Oh not really curly but it's like not straight not perfectly straight so yeah I'm gonna be honest yeah yeah I mean I guess it is oh we have a packing slip oops all right packing slips out of the way I think John. Oh, it's covered. <laughs> no surprise. Okay, well that's uh, that was anticlimactic, but I'll open one of these. Caps, caps, caps. What kind of caps will they be? You have wavy hair. Yeah, yeah. Wavy is uh, wavy is right. Dolchar 5? No, way too soon for Dolchar 5. Dolchar 5 
middle to middle to past the middle of next year. It's gonna be like, pro it's actually probably gonna be like Q3 next year. I'm pretty sure. Client has bad taste. This is not the client's caps though. This is my caps. Giveaway caps? No, no, no. Ooh. So we got white on black Zuyin. Um, for those who don't know, it's a full out. It's an alpha kit. Um, for Zuyin. J sideways. Yeah, I know. Um, so we have white and black Zuyin, and the other one is actually just black and white. I'm not gonna open this one just because, you know, same thing, but just invert the colors. Um, you know. Oh, my, 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 my. Apri, 202 viewers. Hello, 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 everybody. How are you all doing? I, yo, hello. Hello, Raiders. Welcome, Apri. Handmade Metal, hello. How are you? I just unboxed um, white on black Zuyin. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a full alpha alpha kit with the Zuyin alphabet. Uh, Sub legends, pretty cool. I, I think these are dope. Probably one of my favorite uh, sub legend white and black so far, aside from Hangul, of course. Que onda, super switch. Como estás? Shots, shots, my goats ask me, ask me to hydrate, but kind of hot. <laughs> What's up, man? I wish I saw you on the meetup as well. Oh, you mean the wait, handmade metal? Uh, have we, uh, do we know each other? Pero ya sabes, lunes. Ya sabes. Ay, lunes. Lunes medio lento para mí. Hey, first time here. What's the macro pad on the mat? That's a Rama M6A. Um, <laughs> Hydrate RN. What kind of tea? Uh, this is a Honeybush Roivos um, tea. Uh, the tea bag's over here, but. Um, it's kind of, I didn't want to over steep, but yeah, it's honeybush rooibos tea. It's very, it's very nice actually. It's very, very tasty. What's your favorite Mexican dish? I mean, tacos of course, but I mean, if I could choose like, I like mole a lot. I like chiles en hogada. I like enchiladas, chilaquiles. I really like a good pozole. A good pozole is like a way to my heart, I would say. Hola, hola. I wasn't there, and no, you might not know me. Okay, so we don't know each other. <laughs> uh, chill gam, yeah. Oh, uh, chill gam. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Mole ca cali, cali burrito. <laughs> anyway, and okay, this box is actually unlabeled. I didn't know, but this box is completely unlabeled. I've been watch been watching Dona Angela, Dona Angela. I cannot speak Spanish that fast, so I don't know what she's saying, but it's cool. Don't forget Bonche. Mmm, Bonche is good, yeah, for sure. Bonche is like, I mean, drink though, so like. What do you guys think this is though? Look at check 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 this out. I got order number lead. Order number one three three seven for the best keyboarders, for the best keyboardists out there. Only for the elite. So it's a package for the elite. For the for the best fear mongers, gatekeepers, ostracizers. Um so yeah, I'm um I'm not sure. Can you guys guess what this is? Can you guys guess it before I actually open it up? 
For context, soy puertorriqueña, así que el español es mi lengua, lengua materna. Oh, I see. I mean, Spanish is basically my first language too, because I lived in Mexico all my life. Probably resin? Resin this big? Holy crap. Okay. I should have opened it from the other side, to be honest, but... Ah, another packing slip. God damn it. I wish they put the packing slips at the bottom. Hold up. Alright. With your reputation, Diego, you never know. Jaguar? Actually, no. Jaguar wouldn't fit in this box. This box is too small for... It's another box of condoms. <laughs> That would be a very large box of condoms. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So it is indeed a K. Oh, what the? This is like. It was like stuck together. Hold on. Dodo, hello. Stainless steel bottom? Mm, is it stainless steel? What great, uh, what 60% is that? This is the Ogre by Zekin, or Zekworks. Body pillow. <laughs> It's a child from Wayfair. If I got a child from Way, like wait, a child from Wayfair, what would that be like? Furniture. All right, let's unbox this small box first, and then the big box next. Uh, so I imagine. Okay, this is how you read this character. So let's unbox this guy first. Okay. So stickers. Um, daughter board and uh, o-ring gasket uh, yet another daughter board oh yeah right because I got two PCBs we have a Heine Bush PCB two of them and it has the K Monarchy logo the Monarchy Monarchy is the is a mechanical keyboard store in Singapore um, it's managed by beaming robot and I imagine this is a pl uh, my plates, I think. Um, I'm not gonna be building this today, actually, though. We're just unboxing it really quick. So this is my plate, aluminum plate, polycarb plate. Wait, full polycarb plate? Is that what I got? I thought I got half. Okay, I'm gonna have to check my order list. I'm pretty sure I got half plate. Why did I get a full plate? Okay, I'll probably hit up Beaming Robot about it. Did you get order extra PCB? Yeah, I did. I always, I almost always order an extra PCB because I know that I, I, it's not for extra builds, but more so for just in case. Maybe half plates in the box. Yeah, sure, you might be right. All right. And the second box. Ooh. Oh, it's it's like Singapore, I guess. Look at that. Wow. Enjoy your new K by Monarchy. Some bunch of instructions, which I don't have to read right now because I'm not, not gonna be building this board. John has a piece of foam and there is the board by Bisaromi 
Uh, Bisa Romi has that villager like logo. Um, so this is the K. It's a HHKB. It has number two, uh, like the like the number two is inspired by the HHKB HG. So this board is pretty much inspired by that as well. Um, so very similar. It's like the it's like the 260 you'll never see. Um, USB C port and uh, navy bottom with the engraving. Where's the half plate? Looks like I didn't get a half plate. So I'll probably uh, ask about that um, privately later. It's okay though. I'm probably I was I was thinking of building with a full with a full plate anyway first. Um, I can always build. Um, well, I mean, visionaire. I think um, I personally think that 260 is like what they were never intending to really make. But I mean, that's just me though. Anyway, this is the board I'll be building at some point in the future. I don't know when, but in the future. Just gonna pack it up nicely. Oh, I forgot about this thing, but. Uh, okay, fine, I'll put it back, I'll put it back. This packaging is very nice. I have to say I'm very impressed. I actually expected much less, but this is really clean, really fancy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how the packaging came in. The box was very tight fitting and nice, so perfect. All right. So that's not what we are gonna be building today. Sorry, we spent the first half an hour, actually like 20 minutes, because I started a little late, um, talking about these unboxings. That was some Apple level packaging. Yeah, didn't they say they wouldn't make a 260 because it'd be too close to inspiration for the number two boards? Am I imagining that? Yeah, that is, that is exactly correct, Oxy. Um, they said that the uh, key called said uh, that they would not likely do a 260 because of the inspiration uh, being the HKB HG um, and 260 essentially being being that and specifically they wouldn't do it with a stainless steel bottom is it a heavy keyboard because K means light it's actually not a heavy keyboard at all because it doesn't have a weight it's all aluminum desk mat oh I don't have a desk mat command but the desk mat command uh, the desk mat is a uh, it's a um Topri Desmant from uh, Keyclack. So today we have a KVD 8X Mark II from KVD fans. You cop a Kara? Uh, not yet, no. I have a PCB by AIO3. Uh, for those who have seen me build this keyboard, you should probably know what this looks like. Uh, the reason I didn't bring the box up on the table is because my table's not that big. So I have to take every part out one by one. You think ABD will revive the 8X for round three? Like a big group buy? Like a full on group buy? I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. Oh, okay. So we have a brass, brushed brass plate, I think. Coated. There is our thick brass plate. And we have some extra components and stabilizers. You know when Clarabelle group I was? It was a while back, right? KBD Jane. How do you feel about the EO87 that just ended? I thought that looked pretty cool. The like the that was like the crystal bottom, right? 
Um, that one looked pretty nice. Um, I think it was a it was like a grade somewhere like in the middle kind of board like cost wise and like good bang for the buck overall like TX boards have always been pretty good bang for the buck in my opinion. Um, let's see, are there any benefits to high profile cases? Mostly aesthetics, yes. So it's I mean high profile cases allow you to hide like high profile cases don't show the switches, right? Um, so it's mostly aesthetics. What is that keyboard? Um, so exclamation keyboard for the keyboard I'm using and exclamation build for the keyboard I'm about to be, I mean, like for the keyboard, keyboard that I will be building during the stream. Yeah. Yeah, Claribel was like, yeah, last summer, I think. Do you think they'll do another round uh, for the 8X? I'm not sure, honestly. I thought they restocked every, like, but maybe they just uh, swap. Like maybe they just had like batches. I mean, same for liking T1s more than Zelios. No, so there I, I've heard of people saying the same thing. Um, so no, I don't think anything anything's wrong with that. All right. So first thing we always do, like in every stream, is we first test our PCB. So let's test our. Actually, I might like T1s better than Zelios as well if I had to choose one. Uh, the only issue is that. Oh my god, that is so bright. Okay. Well, that's working, but um, I'm not sure if it's via flashed, so we'll see. Um, just waiting for via to open up. Sometimes it takes a little time for some reason. Okay, so. Uh, open but it looks like it's uh, already flashed uh, which is awesome I'm just gonna change this to left control because I don't use caps lock um, but all that aside it looks fine uh, we're gonna go with standard layout for everything today um, so this board is is actually uh, like the clients first ever custom keyboard and um, they wanted it built um, standard but it's gonna be there nice first custom so pretty exciting for them i mean i would imagine all right so let's test our pcb i meant another round for clarabelle oh i see um i wouldn't say a round two will be confirmed at least until it ships like the round one ships until then i don't think you'll know so yeah What's your opinion on MX Blacks? If they're smooth, they're good. Um, I wouldn't, uh, like, I, I don't think, I don't think, I think everyone likes just smooth switches. I mean, I think people uh, argue a lot about the distinction between like vintage or retooled or whatever, but the only thing that matters when it comes to Cherry MX switches is whether they're good or not, like whether they're smooth or not. So even if you have, 2008 MX Blacks or whatever, but they just happen to be really smooth for some reason. Um, then you actually like you, you you know you struck a lot you know you struck like the lottery and like you know you got really nice switches. And it doesn't really matter whether they're vintage or not vintage and that stuff. I don't, I don't think you should concern yourself over those kinds of things. TKL for first custom? I mean, yeah, I think TKL is very widely used, so, yeah. Like, for people who work especially, right, like, it's super, super comfortable. Um, same for, um, uh, same for, uh, like, full size or 1800s, and, um, what else, like, um, yeah, I think, I think that's what most people will go for, or, like, for, even for gaming, I think, like, TKL is probably the best, like, most comfortable. A lot of people go for 60% stuff, too. Oh, Klein's my Ariella homie. He's asleep. <laughs> no worries. TKL is goat. TKL is great. Yeah, for sure. TKL and 60% are my favorite two layouts. So there's that. I, I can use anything in between. Or actually, anything above 60, I can use fine. Uh, split backspace, no split backspace, 75%, 65, full size, 1800, all that stuff I can use just fine. 
um, I don't really care. But um, as far as my desk goes, like when I want it, the look I want on my desk is definitely a TKL or a 60%. 60% is great to switch to when I have paperwork. So when I have stuff that I need to like, you know, when I need to write on stuff while I'm doing work or I need to like put a bunch of papers down on the desk at the same time and do work um so for you know it's very space saving and uh, i can use a layout perfectly fine so um, i personally really like uh, 60 percent for that reason um yeah and and tkl is just aesthetically pleasing even though it's quite it can be quite dull and rectangular and standard but in my opinion, the classic look is hard to beat. GMK doesn't make switches. Yeah, GMK and JTK don't make switches. They make keycaps. If you guys have specific questions direct to me, I suggest you to tag me like at Lightning Keyboard so, like, while you say something so that I can highlight it so I can see it. Uh, but, you know, if, if I don't catch it, then like let me know um comparing prices and how much you get out of the package do you think the jtk sakura is a better deal for gmk honor um maybe uh i think i still think that jtk has its own as it's as uh, some issues in terms of at least like some legends and whatnot but i heard that the um i heard that the uh what is that the Wait, why is this not turning off? Huh. Um, weird. It's not turning off. Maybe I just need to go to a lighting setting. I'll program something maybe here. Oh, wait. Uh, scroll, QMK lighting, RGB toggle. Maybe I'll do that and then try toggling it off because we don't need RGB right now. There we go. Okay, let's uh, move forward. I don't know. I think maybe I need, maybe the version of the hex file is different. Not sure. I'll look into it afterwards. This is like a firmer issue, so I don't think it's like a, there's no like hardware problems with this because it the regular the via flashed RGB toggle key worked just fine. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. He said keyboard was like six, seven hundred, which is crazy to me. Oh yeah, for sure. I think for pretty much most first timers, uh thinking that a keyboard's more than 50 bucks, 100 bucks is pretty insane. Not to mention that's just the keyboard. And then there's like switches, stabilizers, keycaps, cables, blah, 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 blah. Like a million, like there's like lube and springs and uh, you can combine switches and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's, it's just a lot. Have you tried MT3 or SA keycaps? Yeah, of course, I've tried both. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got stabs. Um, I think this is 7U. 625. We need 625. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We don't need the 7U, so we can put it aside. And then there is, I think these are plate screws, which we don't need right now. And these are extra key screws, maybe? Probably. And bump ons. Let's have the bump ons on. Um, but MT3 and SA, um, they're high profile, um, pretty high profile sculpted keycaps, spherical keycaps with large centered um, legends, um, which they look great in my opinion. And MT3 actually, I, I gave it more of a chance um, than SA, uh, but I personally prefer typing on cherry profile um, just overall. Um, I think cherry profile is most like cylindrical profiles rather like I'm not even gonna generalize it to cherry I mean or specify just cherry but 
cylindrical profiles are more comfortable for the fingers than spherical ones in my opinion and like so like oem topre or, or or you know like the original like topre keycaps or or like you know cherry profile are very comfy for me um so i prefer them over uh sa uh, sa looks good though it looks great it's like there's like all these colorful sets and stuff and there's like classier sets too but yeah i think in the end i don't like the sound and type feel like of how like tall they are and how they like end up feeling because uh, they they're so tall. Like the they kind of wobble on top of a switch, and so that's something I didn't really enjoy. How to remember to pay for dang cables? Yeah, I have actually paid quite a bit for cables, which is kind of sad in the sense that like I got like like I had like two cables a long time ago, and now I have like eight cables for some reason because like one of them broke. I thought it broke, and then it st started working again. Um, I'm just gonna show the interior of the case without undoing it for now. But the only thing that you have to see is that is there's an AI03 logo there. The interior is a just a brass weight has the USB-C cut out here. But basically, it's a two-piece case with a large internal. I mean, uh, through through weight um, that says KVD 8X Mark II. It's a gray case. Looks pretty nice. I don't see any anodizing issues. Um, looks super sleek, um, but I think that KVD fans um, overall like quality has been getting better and better. Okay, that's just dirt or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think overall KVD fans quality has been pretty good um, over the past year or two. So can never have too many cables. I mean. They're all useful, yeah. I feel like tall keycaps would force me to learn proper typing. That maybe, but I'm maybe not true. Also, you know, like I'm not entirely sure that would be the case. Actually, like if you have bad typing posture and you force yourself to type on that profile that is uncomfortable, wouldn't you maybe even hurt yourself? Um, I mean, not that it happens overnight, but. I think um, I think overall wanting to improving wanting to improve your typing posture is like a good start already, and then and then on top of that you you probably want to like think about like your desk, your chair, those matter a lot more I think in terms of posture because for example for me the most important element in good typing posture is actually my chair my chair and the desk um, because. Actually, like, I mean, I can't show it. Wait, I mean, you guys can see, but like my chair has armrests and these armrests or elbow rests for me are super, super important because it allows me to like comfortably put rest my elbows there without having to bend my wrists. Um, so for me, that's kind of like the lifesaver for proper typing, I'm not bending my wrists. So even if the angle is 11 degrees, I don't do this. I type like this. Can't stick along for a long time. Nuclear nachos might be back in an hour. Okay. Hello, Salty Nutted. How are you? Late for work as looping the switches last night. Oh, I see. Do you work? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's right. Regions. Ooh. Gotta, gotta keep a schedule. But, I mean, I can't. I have no right to say that. Because I am a night owl and it's bad. Like, I have a terrible sleeping. I have a, I have a terrible sleeping hygiene and uh, a routine right now. So, I, I can't. I can't tell. I can't tell you anything about 
I have no right to say anything about it. All right. Let's get our Jara Lube. Brushy brush. Yo, Lana, like stick. Hello. Nice seeing an Adex show up in good condition after some of the horror stories. I actually don't know many horror stories of Adexes actually, so I can't, I can't personally vouch for anything. I loot my first switches today. 67 gram tangies with 205 and thick films and damn that took like 4.5 hours 4.5 hours it's not bad uh for a full batch but yeah it takes me quite quite a long time too what's the thing on the left side of the keyboard this is called this is a macro pad so i program for example for example here i have like media keys i can play next previous that kind of stuff um but basically it's a programmable pad where you can put whatever shortcuts whatever you want on it what artisan do you have on your board right now? Uh, this is a Booper Monkey. It's actually a bo the Bowie Monkey. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a namesake cap. Not for me. It's a, it was actually like a giveaway a long time ago, but I kind of inherited it from that person um, a few years ago. So has a lightning resin cast. But yeah, it's a Booper Monkey. Booper is the name of the maker, and the monkey is just monkey is the like sculpt name, and the colorway would be like Bowie, you know, like for David Bowie. Lubing takes quite some time. Yeah, lubing takes me forever. I mean, so when I mean, in, for example, like uh, I lubed the switches for the client. Oh, I forgot that I had two or five from the client, so. Oh, I can use that one instead. Oops. Um, so I lube these alpacas for the client uh, with and applied uh, Deskies films. And so this takes me, I mean, this is like what, 87 switches or something? Like 90 switches? Yeah, this took like, uh, like, like five hours. So yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> Where are your murrays? Oh, I have my Murrays in in my in my in my Arzen uh, box and and some keyboards actually. But I have a I have a bunch of Murrays, yeah, some Topri and some MX. I'm actually really into Topri ones, the the ones that are like older that have like a bit of a textured look to them. They're pretty dope. Best budget macro pad now. Um, actually. Uh, best budget macro pad. There was that. What was that macro pad called? Crap. It's like a three by three, I think. Uh, shoot. I actually don't know the name of it. I I would know. I would know what it looks like, but it's basically like a stacked acrylic pad with like a, either a pro micro or a small PCB. But they're pretty cheap and they're pretty easy to get. YMDK nine. YMDK nine. Yeah, the key bio one. Yeah, I think the key bio ones are great too. Yeah. Those are all pretty cheap and pretty good. Dude, the Peppermint Artisan looks nice, but I can't buy it. Which Peppermint one? Dr. Huru's is pretty dope. Oh, he has a YMDK9 or uh, one of those key bio ones. With all the handwritten commands. Oh, did he do uh, re legendables cap or re legendable caps on it? Because uh, re legendable caps are caps that have the like a little plastic cap on, and you can like put a little, little piece of paper to put like legends on it. There's like that option. Yeah, they're they're called re legendables. Uh, the re legend doubles are actually not expensive and they're they're not very hard to source because they were pretty numerous in older keyboards and so sometimes like people will buy like older keyboards and you know you have like 
like a dozen of them and you know sometimes people don't eat all of them and gmk buys have like there's been gmk group buys that have had uh real agenda double keycaps so not too hard to source actually oh the one you have on sale the left side of your box oh, oh i see i see i see i see uh you haven't asked me though you should probably ask me $12 sold out though. Yeah, the Keybio stuff is pretty nice. I, I can vouch for Keybio. I mean, Keybio, uh, the the person behind Keybio, he's he's super smart. Uh, he's helped me out with a bunch of PCB related stuff. And uh, um, he actually uh, works with the KMK team as well. And super, super smart dude. Baking pie. YMDK9 is an AliExpress for 19 or 26 USD. I see. Yeah, so I would say that the cheapest macro pad, most inexpensive macro pad at the moment, is something like that. And it probably costs you like, yeah, like $25, $30 on average. And yeah, they're like 3x3 ish. I keep forgetting that I was gonna switch the music over to something more jazzy because the lo fi is kind of making me. Making me a little bit down. Not like not making me feel down, but like kind of like too chill. The jazz actually kind of makes me feel a little bit more uppity. VM16A from KP Republic via compatible, so it's easy to program. Oh, interesting. Someone must have ported it to. I mean, it must have like a QMK thing, and then someone must have ported it over to to be yeah because macro pads are super useful to have basically hot programming you know like instant programming on a macro pad is super super useful right it's basically like like why buy a stream deck when you can just get a macro pad and do do all that stuff right so all right i remember now you already more chill than iceberg most of the time okay says the person with the namesake chill gam so I, I have to accept that. Also, I keep using this loop, uh, which is okay. I mean, I'm not gonna. It's not like I'm charging the client for it, but they they did provide loop, so I'll I'll use the loop that they provided. I'll wipe this off. Whoa, sub badges! Do you guys also notice the banners in the bottom of the screen? There's new banners. They're kind of simple, but they're pretty clean. Um, so I also got new banners, uh, like the ones that have like about me, sponsors, that stuff. They're pretty simple, but I thought it would be more suitable to have my own. Um, yeah, just new look overall. New look, new look. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while. I was like, oh, I should really do it. I should really do it. Uh, but then I think it was the month of September, right? Uh, when I like quote unquote lost my job and it was just like chaotic and I was like oh I can't can't spend money <laughs> but now it's like now it's like you know a, a little better things are a little like things are starting to move forward and uh, you know it's a good time to good time to reinvest into the channel um yeah but for 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 like a month and a half it was a very tight spot so I was like oh better not get evicted so Sold, sold a few keyboards and sold a bunch of artisans and, and stuff like that. And not by a bunch, I mean really like maybe like like 10, 10, 10, 12 keycaps and then like a key set or two, two, three keyboards, smaller ones, especially the ones I don't use. Yeah. Oh, sorry. There's something on. Oh, I see. Um, let's see. Next will be Merge or Lightning Rama? I actually don't know. Um, I'm not sure when I would do Merge. I think Merge, I uh, definitely, I, I, I actually feel the same way as like Nathan. Uh, like I wouldn't want to just jump onto any Merge because I personally feel like Merge is worth, because you know, everybody, everybody has Merge, right? And like, you know, whether it's t-shirts or swag or whatever. And it, it kind of is, isn't memorable. <laughs> 
when it's like very generic and like very like standardized so i would definitely want to go for something that's like of nicer quality and stuff uh, whether it's like if it's apparel like if it's if it's apparel then yeah and then like if it's any other stuff then i, I definitely want to see like look into my options first and stuff and then also like you know gauging demand uh i honestly don't know how many people would buy something like that i personally think i wouldn't even sell like 20 10 no not even i don't even know like i, I don't know i just i just don't know it's not like an interest check has people committed to things because people say always come into interest check saying like oh yeah nice great colors uh you know uh consider me in and then and then group by comes around that's not that's not the case so there's no proof nathan's merch exists but well, i know nathan's merch exists in in like you know in some in some form it exists whether it is a concept or an idea or maybe in a physical form. Kept your team though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I well actually revert reverb slash. Um I um I I I so I bought my TMO fifty V one like a long time ago, right? I have a I had a rose gold one. And I actually um Pass that one forward because I got uh, I got a hold of a Founders Edition one, so I ended up getting a different TMO which I decided to keep and pass the other one forward. Um, Kilo Gino, thank you so much for tier one. Oh, uh, for the Prime Gaming sub, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just got a KB Eight X Mark II today, Jedi Junior off Mech Market. Going to build it up for a friend. So I'm excited to see how today's build is going to go. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I hope it turns out well. I mean, I think it will. <laughs> uh, you know. QD8 X Mark II is actually a really good, really good bang for the buck. For a custom, like, aluminum high profile case with a weight and a nice PCB and everything, uh, it's really a great deal. Good morning, Raditz. How are you doing? Hope you are well. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Um, these are, I mean, no matter where you are, uh, it's not just exclusively, I mean, the United States is a complete chaos, yes. But um, no matter where you are, I hope you are safe and healthy. Uh, you know, the pandemic is still a thing. I know that a lot of countries uh, or a lot of places are, are kind of like rerunning again, like they're kind of reopening. But it, it doesn't help that you know globalization is a thing. So travel bans or whatnot, withstanding, it's still 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 a thing. So I hope you are all safe and healthy and um, mentally and emotionally um, well, taking care of yourselves. Um, you know, I think it's a good, I hope that like streams help you sort of de-stress and, you know, wind down. Gotta go, but I might be back. Sounds good. Nuclear nachos. Anyway, what's your opinion on plastic versus metal cases? Uh, they both have their pros and cons. I mean, plastic, lighter, easier to carry. Um, depending on the plastic, like maybe you, you don't really care if it gets banged up a little. Aluminum is actually soft. Aluminum is a very soft material. So it actually does scratch and gets dented very easily. Um, actually like a plastic case sometimes might be more resilient than an aluminum case. Um, so uh, there's pros and cons. I mean, but aluminum feels premium. You know, it feels kind of hefty, feels premium. There's that like cold feeling of that anodized aluminum, right? Um, overall, just like adds to that feeling of premium and the acoustics start changing too. Like the uh, plastic and metallic cases have very different acoustic properties and uh, you need to play around with it to, to know what to know what it's like, uh, what the difference is like. But yeah. Like polycarb is nice, but like ABS cases exist like for like Leopold's. Like, you know, they're like ABS cases and they're pretty good. They sound nice too. My friend needs a full size since I couldn't get a wrecked 1800 for them. So I settled for one of these with the extra numpad. Oh, I mean, 
TKL with extra numpad is actually exactly what I used to do when I first got, uh, like my first, uh, I guess, non-custom mechanical keyboard. I switched, I was in, like, I had like a Cooler Master and a separate numpad. Um, and that was like the way for me to feel comfortable, like still kind of using full size, but also like having mechanical key switch related stuff. This was like back in like 2015. And then I did have a full size as well. Um, so I, it was like back and forth. And then once I got into hobby, I got an HHKB right away. <laughs> and um, like Topri. And so I kind of got really used to that. And so I really got into 60% um, and smaller layouts actually, like like basically like sub TK layouts. And I was really into them for a while, like 65%, 75%, 60%. 60%. realizing that the aesthetic of TKL was always calling for me. Um, like I just really like the aesthetic of TKLs on a desk. Just looks classy, just like has the right amount of separation between things. Just like looks right. I mean, probably because you're used to it, like, you know, because it's just the full size cut with a numpad cut out. So yeah. My county just entered purple tier. I'm not sure, not sure about the the colors for the tiers uh, on COVID, but I, I it sounds like it's probably bad. So I, I think no, I hope you stay safe. Um just doing some work right now, Raddy, it's nice. Hope you have a productive work day. Are, is it okay to watch the stream while you're working? Like, I mean, some people are okay with like it playing in the background, but for some it's like distracting, isn't it? I'm replacing the switches on my hotspot while I watch you. Keyboard and keyboard, keyboard and keyboard I need. All I need. I see, I see. Praying this pandemic ends before my VK. Oh, right, yes. I have so many feelings about that particular statement of yours. I basically postponed one, two, three, four. Four trips that I had planned during this year, I had to postpone. Uh, I mean, not even postpone, cancel. Sorry, they're canceled. I had to cancel four of my trips. So yeah, pretty bummed out about it. Um, I mean, they're not like huge plans, but I really always, I love traveling and I really look forward to it because like, um, I do get tired when I'm traveling but I enjoy traveling itself just because it, it like puts me in a different zone. It makes me think about different things. And I just enjoy like, you know, sometimes it's my only just by myself, sometimes like with a, in the company of others. But yeah, I just really like really appreciate traveling. But yeah, I, I wasn't able to do that like four times this year. So like I was just really bummed out about it. going to travel like uh, I guess mostly domestic uh, but one of the trips was probably gonna involve some sort of international destination too might join JDK Azure wallet friendly emotionally well thanks to knowing that I was taught a that a huntsman sounds bad I am <laughs> so you're saying you feel better emotionally because you're into keyboards Alex happy I say oh hello Real Force is keyboard endgame? Real Force is keyboard endgame. I mean, the thing is this, people don't realize Topper is endgame, quote unquote. I mean, again, endgame is such a it's a it's like one of those taboo words, right? They always talk about that. RMK, typical RMK words are This is not much, but it's my first. Um Is this endgame? Um What else? Uh what what else is RMK? Oh, Oh, my wallet's suffering, but but I, I'm loving it. Something like that. Titles like that. Pretty pretty typical, right? And Topre. Topre is super underrated. People don't really talk about Topre like that until kind of later they're like realizing like they kind of miss it. <laughs> People miss Topre after they stop using it. And they're like, man, Topre was nice. And you go back to it. And then you're like, well, crap, I sold my real force. I sold my HKB. I sold my Leopold. I want one back. And it's easy to get one back. So it's that like, it's that reliable friend like you can always go back to. That's what Topper is. It's it's kind of like, because because essentially Topper is like, a, yes, it is like an upgraded version of the membrane rubber dome keyboard, right? 
but with incredible consistency and a very uh, particular tactile feel, especially after you lube it and modify it. But yeah, once once you like, it's like a you, you find that partner, and it's like the the one person or the one like you know go to you can have at any point in time, and it will never disappoint you. That that's what Topra is. At least to me, it, it is. It's like I always go back to Topra at some point. It's not much of my wallet suffering could be in game. Yeah, yeah, that that's very typical. Uh, let's see. I went to Bahamas in February. I'm so lucky. Oh, so jealous. I was supposed to go on a cruise in January too. Uh, tornado. I, I wish I went. I mean, there there are many many reasons I wish I went on this trip, um, but eh. personal reasons too. Um, but yeah, life turns out that way. Just, just yeah. Um. Cousin's wedding were canceled, felt so bad, they were planning for a long time. Yeah, I have friends whose weddings have been postponed essentially indefinitely. Um, so, like, some of them have just filed, like, as married, but, uh, like, you know, like, legally, but they haven't had their ceremonies and stuff. Uh, all their families, like, all that, like, traveling and stuff was canceled. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Lucky to have an in-person Korean language school near me? Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. Playing the stream in the background, relaxing, that's good. Iron 180 might be on my endgame TKL. I'll see you in a few months and I'm gonna, li I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you that question again. Well, I mean, maybe I won't ask you, but I'm, I'm gonna hear you say something else. Oh, Iron, I thought 180, I thought Iron 180 was my endgame, but now it isn't. Let's see, can't confirm that's why I'll never get rid of my Topra cord. Yeah, Topra. Topra also gets better the more you use it. This is true. 45 gram, GOAT, for sure. 45 gram for me is the better dome weight because I personally think 55 gram feels a little bit heavy and especially after a full day of typing, especially if you, if you have it at work, uh, it's really tiring. 55 gram, at least for me. Cruise sounds dangerous now. I mean, yeah, cruise is like a nightmare now. Like, cruise is like, cru cruise is essentially you're 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 asking you're asking for it going on a cruise. It's like it's like uh it's like uh it's like train to Busan. That that's what that's what uh, that's what that's what going on a cruise is, right now. Some friends cancel cruises, flights, have a struggle to get their money back. Yeah, I also got only like maybe like half back, so yeah. HKV was my first board, I still have it, it's nine years old. Ooh, nine years. Very nice. I do own old HKVs though, because I bought them knowing they're old. Or they just happen to be old. Thank God no women love me. <laughs> Thank God I got married last January. Oh, cool, cool. Congrats on. Well, I mean, it was early this year, but congrats anyway. I've never posted an RMK. Oh gosh, I, I I think I don't remember what I posted in RMK first. I think it was just mostly asking questions. I think I all, always just posted asking questions like, "Oh, I bought this keyboard and I have like this problem. How do I fix it?" That that was probably like all my posts on the RMK. I like I prefer I much prefer just lurking around around there. So yeah. Forty-five goat domes. Variable is also good. Yeah, variable is actually surprisingly good. Sur um, variable domes. People say like, oh, but thirty grams and it's shit. It's a mix of everything. What if, like, yeah, no. But once you start typing on variable, it's actually more comfortable than you think. I, I, I didn't expect it, and I was like, oh, I like it. Don't even look at RMK. Yeah, I don't even look at RMK anymore. Yeah, I haven't looked at RMK for like basically like two years now. I like after like oh actually no wait I'm almost at my fourth year now so in the hobby so I haven't looked at RMK like the first year I looked at RMK pretty often but I don't I haven't since really so for like th the past three years I really don't pay much attention to RMK
I mean, there really is no point for me to point to pay, pay attention to RMK. Are there any MX tactiles that feel like Topri? Or is it so different that you need to try Topri? Mm, I really don't think anything comes close. But anything that with the with the like people will say, people will tell you that any MX tactile with that that has the bump near the top of the travel of the switch, so like Holy Pandas, T1, Zelias, all that stuff, people will tell you that's kind of like the closest you can get. Um, or like, you know, Boba U4s or whatever, you know, like silent tactiles and stuff. Because silent tactiles have a bottom out that's kind of like softer and like sometimes even mushy, but like, you know, it's kind of like rubber dome esque. But um, personally, I don't think any MX tactile is really like Topri. Like, I, I just don't really think so. Especially in the way they collapse. So basically, like, it's not the bump that I'm saying is different. I'm talking about the collapse. What comes after the after you get past that minimum force to get through the bump? The collapse on rubber domes is like fast and very short travel, relatively. Uh, so so Topri, in my opinion, is has a much better feeling in that collapse. I can't watch spooky movies. It's not that bad. But yeah. I just joined the community, so I sell on RMK all the time. Yeah, I think it's normal. It's normal. If you are if you just joined the community, I think you're, you're probably going to be looking at RMK for like the first year. Just like, because, you know, it's like a source of news and whatever. But once you start figuring out where people like find out their news and like what, what sort of like posts have like certain patterns, like you'll kind of stop looking because you're like, you already expect what... You already know what you're gonna see. It's very apparent. And like, you know, marketing stuff is like also very, very, very clear. Like if you don't see it on Iron K, you'll see it on like Insta or like Discord or like anywhere else, Twitter. Or like just mailing newsletters. Um Still follow Iron K for countless giveaways. Okay, fair. Hey Diego. Exiled. I just lubed the springs on my Koala switches with Cartos 105, but I'm still hearing the spring crin uh, spring ping crunch. Do I need to use a thicker lube on the spring ends? Hmm. That's a good question. Um. Ah, I have an idea. You could. Uh, I'll show you. But hold up. Give me like. Give me like a minute, and I'll show you what I want to try. What I'm gonna say. Uh, there is a suggestion I can make based on what you just said, um, but basically it involves you could lube not inside of that like center pole in the bottom housing, around it. Basically, lube just apply like a little bit of lube, like wh whatever you're using for your switch, like your stem, um, what that whatever that is, just apply it at the bottom around that center pole, basically where the spring is going to sit, like the end of the spring is going to sit. Uh, try applying it there and see if it helps. Isn't your current monkey type personal best on Topra? No, my current my current best is on MX. Pretty sure. Wait, was it? Actually, I don't remember now. Anyway. I honestly don't find much useful info on RMK. Definitely find more info on Geekhack. Yeah, for sure. Geekhack's kind of like, it's become sort of a marketing board at this point, but it is the, the place to go to for, for like news of new upcoming products, for example. Use the RMK Discord, but never go on Reddit anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the community has definitely moved to Discord. I mean, for like interactions. Uh, but that makes sense. Like a lot of, a lot of like, a lot of hobbies have so yeah discord discord is definitely the the place where a lot of have a lot of community stuff happens now pretty much exclusively now because like meetups are not a thing and yeah and it's like faster right so it loses some charm um in my opinion uh i personally don't think reddit is the same either i actually really like how geek hack is because geek hack so the thing about geek hack i know that it's an old style forum and people might think that I'm like I have like my boomer glasses on and like I'm just being like grassroots and like a hippie but the th good thing about geek hack is this you let's say you make a new post or a new topic you have to think about what to put in that text box so you actually have to stop yourself to think about what you're gonna write because everyone's gonna see it right 
And not just that, you actually can't delete posts on Geekai. You cannot delete posts on Geekai. You can edit them, you cannot delete them. But if you edit them, people will know you edited them. Like it tells you, like, you know, this person edited it at this time um, and whatnot. And, and, but, 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 like, you have to think about it, and, like, things stay there, like, um, just, like, old-style forums have that kind of, like, a bit of, like, the push to, to interact in that kind of way, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, handwritten, handwritten letters, you know? I don't like that you can't change your name or delete an account. I mean, you should think about what name you want there then i don't know why you should be changing your name every so on so on often you can change your name though you could you just need to pm an administrator to change your name you can change your name it is possible to change your name but yeah tp4 tissue merch pass ergodox merch <laughs> Re reverb knows reverb knows the geek hack jokes it's it's great i love it the the true the the true the true the true form of geek hack is in the off topic sections but you know beware you might be surprised i'm so used to old staff form layout i really don't mind it me neither yeah i, I don't mind it either Google autofill when creating account. I've just had an account I'm too embarrassed to comment and interact with. Um, I mean, why don't you could you can make a new account? You know that, right? Tornado, you you can make a new account. Like it is possible to just make a new account, and you also can change your name. You you can just I mean, just look it up, Google it. How to change name on Geekac or something like that, and there's a, there's basically a form that tells you you need to PM a senior moderator or administrator, and they'll do it for you, and they'll change your name, and that's it. You can change your name on Geekac though; it's it's free. You just need permission for it, which is you just need to PM somebody. It's not hard. There definitely is a nostalgia factor with Geekac for the old timers. Oh, for sure. I'm not even that old timer, okay? I, I came in in 2016, okay? I registered on Geekhack in December of 2016, but I lurked. I, I lurked and stuff like for. I lurked for like half a year, a year. Like just when I was like having like a. I had like my full size with MX Browns and whatever. Or like that TKL with NumPad, right? That setup. Um. But like yeah, um, I'm not super nostalgic of Geekhack in that sense. I'm more mostly like, what I like about Geekhack is the fact that like, there's permanence with 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 what the interaction looks like. You know, there's a bit more of a like the time slows down a bit there. I feel like an, I'm a nuisance. What? What do you mean? Tornado. And no one's judging you for that. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you can just PM somebody and you can change your name with no privacy concerns, no issues. Uh, let's see. Lost my password, never could recover my GH account. Can you make a new one? Or maybe do do they catch you on your, on your, on your IP? I'm kind of surprised. But I mean, PMing an admin always helps. Like if you need a friend to help you, why ask your friend be like, hey, uh, could you PM like Hoff uh, so that they can like unlock my account or figure something out, help me with my account because I can't get back in. I'm sure they could help you. These guys are nice. These guys are nice people. Wait, hold on. Did I loot the right stop? Yeah, okay. All right. Holy shit. Uh, oh my god. Jack Static. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the 10 tier 1 subs. They've gifted 51 subs in the channel. Holy moly, guacamole. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for gifting all of these subs. I'm gonna mute the sounds, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Wow. 
Um, so Jack Static is actually um, one of the sponsors of Lightning Keyboards. Uh, he's um, he's the man behind Mint Autumn. Uh, they've done the Rukia, um, and they're currently working on like uh, injection molding cases as well as um, yeah, he's at the factory milling molds. Um, yeah, so Jack Static is currently working on uh, working with um, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Uh, he's trying to make um, injection molding like equipment. He's working with that to eventually make keyboard cases with it. Um, so and, and he's doing the R&D on his own. So it, it's a huge undertaking. Um, and he has been streaming recently, yes, about the injection molding stuff. Super interesting stuff. I've actually been watching the VODs. Um, and it's just really cool engineering and science going on. I... I would highly recommend checking it out uh, every so often when he does stream. Uh, they happen kind of late at night, um, but if you don't see it, uh, if you can, you know if you can't catch it late at night, then just like check it, check out the vods. I mean, uh, it's it's really useful info and like really gives you an idea of what how much work is involved. And you know, it costs it can cost from tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it's like so big and big big projects here. But yeah, thank you, Jax. Alright. And I think I saw Silly Pear saying something like stream so legit with new sub badges. It's okay. Okay at best. Uh yeah, we went with the 90s vibe lightning <laughs> badges. Um the it, it's the same artist who made my emotes. They're on Fiverr. Their um, Fiverr username is Soli Soul, um, and they're super super nice. And they've been helping me with some of the art stuff. What was the GMK Korean flag set? Uh, GMK Tegoti. It's on TX Keyboards, I believe, right now. Please forgive my lack of eloquence. Lack of eloquence? No way. I mostly just talk to myself, my three-year-old, so I'm not used to talking out loud in full sentences. Uh, trust me, man. You, you don't. You don't sound with much lack of eloquence at all. Plus, engineer guy does a good amount of talking too, which is great. They're so good, actually. He's like that professor is just like really good. Trying to keep long strings of numbers in short-term memory. Oh. Like like studying pi. Engineer guy makes stuff so easy to digest. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that, that, when I when I was watching some of those videos, I was I was like, wow. He's a he, he's like he, <sighs> You know how like people say like I, I graduated college thanks to YouTube or whatever? It's like that stuff, you know? Like well, that's what that's what it makes you realize. You're like, what happened to all the good professors? Why are they not here? Like in like in like in physical form. <laughs> You've inspired me to take up learning a second language? Awesome. Second language learning, that's that's great. It's a lot of fun. Um, find yourself someone to practice with. I think that I think that actually helps a ton. And personally, what really made me interested in learning languages was like the more like cultural stuff, so like music, pop culture, uh, like uh, like I don't know, like folklore or like you know, like I guess like if you like reading books or if you like certain like type of media, that's that's the good stuff. 
pretty much had a degree in Google. Yeah, Google Fu is a is a real technique and is a real uh, art. You need to you need to master the art of Google Fu to to be good. I guarantee you, it'll help you for a lot of things. It'll help you for artisan keycap raffle trivia, poison summer raffles. Maybe it'll help you, uh, you know, find uh, QMK commands. Um, um, searching searching for lightning keyboards as dope photos. Um, you know, just 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 stuff like that. Prime keys trivia too. Yeah. Image search is a thing too. <laughs> I look like a crazy guy at the factory just repeating numbers over and over from one piece of equipment to another and then yelling things like, You know Spider-Man, I Spider-Man too, so that my son. <laughs> oh, that's it's really adorable. But at the same time, I don't think you're I don't think you sound like a crazy man. It's okay. It's it's really a lot of work you're doing there. It's mostly in person. Tutoring is one of the fast ways to learn. Yeah, for sure. Teaching other people, yeah. So that's called the... People call that the Richard Feynman method. Um, so for those who are interested in physics or even interested remotely in physics and would like to know more in a digestible format, the Feynman lectures on physics are extremely interesting. And the guys like... Like, the guy's like a genius, but he's also like a fun, fun person to listen to. Uh, and the Richard Feynman method, though, it's known to be basically learning how to teach other people is a way for you to learn best. Um, because it reorganizes your, your brain. It rewires your, your thoughts and your ideas and puts them in different contexts and, re and like puts them in different combinations. Yeah, it, that that really helps crystallize the knowledge you wanna you wanna earn. I'm a genius too. Ask or ask. Eight bit derp. Maybe you're, are you about to upgrade to sixteen bit? <laughs> Silly pears hide my fellow fruit people. Um, Twitch is running like a chicken with its head cut off because of DMCA. Oh yeah, I've heard about uh, the DMCA stuff. I've like saw, seen, seen like posts on Twitter. Online link to all the lectures if you'd like me to post here. Yeah, sure, if you'd like to. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, I, I believe uh, Bill Gates hosted those on his like, on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation website too. Pretty sure. Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd, just so you know. And I love physics and science. I love education in science too. Um, so yeah, feel free to ask me questions about that kind of stuff. Yeah, if I'm in lectures, Cal Caltech, okay. thank you, thank you. Separate the three volumes, that's correct. I need your prayers that I get accepted into McGill for political science. I hope you do get into political science at McGill. That's Wow. Tell me about Fourier transforms. Oh man, sines and cosines. Well, so let me tell you about Fourier transforms. Fourier transform is a way to express um, any, basically any mathematical function or specifically like a wave in terms of uh, sines and cosines. If you've studied basic algebra and trigonometry, you'll know about sines and cosines. But basically, Fourier transform or Fourier series teach you a way to rewrite every possible um, waveform in, in, in a sum and multiplication of sines and cosines. Linear combinations are called, but that's too complicated. It's not. That's not like yet, you know, explain like M five. So, get brownie points for you enough tending to answer that. I mean, I use a TA in physics.
How's your day going? My day's going alright. Thank you so much. Thank you for asking someone else. Someone other. You see the math question that was trending over the weekend? No, I, I have not seen the math question trending over the weekend. I heard Montreal is not very nice. Uh, what about Montreal? Montreal? Oh, you, oh, about McGill. I see, I see, I see. Hey! Someone other than you, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you. Welcome back for two months. Are you liking the ogre? Um, I've been liking it. Uh, it has a very, uh, like a very specific sound to it. Uh, mostly it's because there's like very little room inside of the case. Um, so it's like a very tight spacing in there and it's it's it feels it feels like a key it sounds like it feels like a keyboard but uh overall like can't complain so far um still kind of need some more time for me to formulate a better idea of it though um yeah, but for 60 percent like it's simple light easy to use i mean yeah I'm new here. Where do you go? What do you mean, where do you go? Uh, welcome, Lu Luke Hate. I'm a. Uh, I'm. People call me Lightning or Diego. I'm a custom uh, mechanical keyboard builder. I mean, for school. I don't. I don't think I need to say that. That's that's personal info. I mean, I I, I bet some people know, but I don't think I need to disclose that sorry just saw everyone talking about it. I think it was because somebody was talking about uh, they wanted to get into McGill for political science but I mean yeah I'm also not in college just, just FYI I'm, I'm, I'm older than that Medical Superman. All these. That, that's 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 some fake news. Tell me why applied math is filled with these useless derivations. Graduate studies is brutal. Um, probably because. That's what academia is. What, that's what academia ends up being about. It's deriving stuff for the sake of knowing and deriving. But applied math is more useful when you start using it for specific tasks, like when you when you learn how to solve certain problems. All right, I think that's enough switches to start testing. Uh, so uh, let's start testing this guy. Upstate New York, I go to Montreal almost yearly for hockey. Cool. A lot more unintentional discoveries are also made when deriving. Yeah, actually, actually, that that is a very, very good uh, thought, Jay. Inter un unintentional discoveries while deriving actually happen all the time in in science. Actually, like most of the time, unintentional discoveries happen. Uh, like tend to be like huge things in the future. Especially like in biology, that happens a lot too. Especially because biology is like everything's connected, right?
getting fight or flight from all the math discussion. <laughs> yeah, some people get like that about math, huh? I mean, I like math in the context of, like, useful stuff, I guess. It's like, oh, I use this cool math trick to find something out. I think that's pretty cool. My Gat Yellows just shipped from KOD Fans, the new weird looking ones. Curious how to see how, how they are. Oh, interesting. Are those the one with the big pole sort of thing with the like hole in the middle? Because those did look pretty kind of interesting. Okay. I think this sounds pretty good, but I'm just gonna double test with the double check with the foam. So foam kind of helps. Some uh, I use this piece of foam because when you press something against foam, the foam helps propagate the sound a little bit more. Like you'll notice right away. Like it has a very like it sounds like deeper and all that, but it just helps you hear things a little a little bit better. good but I might touch up the space bar very slightly wait so what is the point of doing this um, the point of doing this is uh, the point of lubing your stabilizers is to reduce the rattle when so when you press if you have unlubed if you have like stock stabilizers they tend to rattle because there's a lot of empty space and basically the parts start like rubbing against each other and making sounds that are different from just the pressing of the key and it's unpleasant, so we, in our community, we use lube to eliminate those unpleasant sounds. Basically a way to make things smoother and cleaner sounding and feeling. This adobo, oh adobo, oh that sounds so good. I haven't had adobo in like ages, I think. Years actually. Now that I think about it, I haven't had adobo in like a long time. I don't have as many Filipino friends actually. Now that I think about it, it's kind of an interesting thought. Now that I think that that's the case. Like, huh, I wonder why, but then again, I think I just didn't live anywhere close where there was like a lot of them. I mean, there are like a lot in college, but it's still relatively small population. Are we not friends, Lightning? I mean, yeah, we are. But we don't talk about Adobo. And you certainly haven't given me any Adobo. Is using dielectric grease for stabs an outdated method? No, it's not outdated. Um, now in. Oh, now in. By the way, do you get your keycaps? You never let me know, I think. Um, but no, it's not outdated. It's it's a preference thing. Some people pr still prefer dielectric grease because for them it just does, does the job better, quote unquote. And they have different ways of doing it. Like, um, I believe... Apiary and Minterly both use dielectric grease. I'm not sure if Andy does too, but I, maybe Andy does. But I, I know like Nathan and myself, for example, we use Crytox 205, grade zero. Um, other people use Crytox. Some people use dielectric and Crytox. It's, it's been, it's kind of a mixed bag. 
Some people don't even use any of those two and use other things. So yeah, there's there's many options. Just whatever works is what's the most important. Like your method working is what matters the most. It, it really really don't don't have to listen to other people's methods if you can't do it like what works, you know. Like what if you try someone else's method but just you just can't get it right. But the one you've been doing so far is good enough. Oh no, wait, not yet? Huh, I thought I saw it delivered. One day I'll shower you with Adobe Love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> please, please do. I think I just remember about this one track. W is gonna be a treat if you check the music channel. Different leap from the last one I posted water with a Bruce Lee quote. Sounds good. With something a bit thicker, like two or five grade two would be better for stabs. So grade two does not mean thicker. Grade 2 means the NLGI grading of lubricants, is like specifically for Crytox, is actually more about the consistency of the mixture. Because grease is actually a mixture, right? It's a mixture of this binding agent with oil. And basically, um, it's going to be the consistency of that um, is determined by the NLGI grading. And NLG um, grade two is a bit kind of like, more like you could call it like maybe coarse kind of. Like it's, love it when he talks about lube. <laughs> That's fine. Some pe people have different preferences. Things they like talking about, things they don't like talking about. Yo, so basic. When are you? So when's the next music stream? Cooking stream when? Music stream when? Hey Jeff, what's up? Jeff Leopard, how are you, buddy? I don't know if it was delivered today. Haven't gone to my mailbox. Oh, okay, maybe it was. I actually need to double check my deliveries tracker. The electric gets it job done is cheap yeah so if, if it gets the job done you're good you don't don't worry don't fuss over what works and what doesn't work because if it's already working for you you don't need to do more work like you don't don't do extra work where you, you know, don't try to fix something that's not broken that's basically what I'm trying to say oh weird these some of these housings have like a slightly different color <laughs> Probably like different mix of molds. Like they're like slight, ever so slightly darker. But whatever. What goes in the really wide hole on the fourth row? This one? Wait. This one? Fourth row. One, two, three, four, all the way in the right. This is the long shift. This is the long shift. 2.75 unit shift. Music stream maybe soon? Yo, so lit. You're actually so good. And you're like, you're, you say you said you're out of practice too, basic. I thought that was pretty impressive. I wish I could play music as well as maybe as I did at some point or whatever, but yeah. I lost that motivation a long time ago. Also, it's not like I'm not in the position to like play solo or anything like that. So. That's a gap. Um, so the reason it's, it has this wide cut is because it also allows for split right shift for different layouts. It's like a universal cutout. Oh, in the navigation cluster? Yeah, this is just uh, for like acoustics, some people say. Or just for the sake of showing what's under in the PCB. Sometimes, sometimes it's to show off. If you have some cool, cool engraving or art or whatever, you can show it off. 
need more practice, been rusty. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why you should stream more music stuff. You can you can practice while you stream. Two birds and one stone. It's okay. It's okay, basic. I know you. You. You are. You are a superstar now. You know what a subathon though. Whew. I see y'all. I see y'all. Andy and Lol Stacks and Basic. Yeah. Straight to the top. Nathan's gonna retire, and y'all are gonna be the the next gen. The next gen of keyboard streamers. Hey, cutie foo, hello. Schnickers, hello. You should learn to program music instead of play music. <laughs> I remember I did that with uh, like FPGA stuff back in electronics lab. Wait, I'm missing a switch. Where's, where's, where am I missing a switch? I thought I had enough switches. Pretty sure I do, but I'll check again. Might have dropped something. I think I dropped a switch somewhere. Actually, no. Oh, wait, never mind. I put in a different bag. Oops. Keyboards into keyboard music band. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Alrighty. I think we have all the switches in now. And just a piece of paper. Right. I have fun with it and a robot twenty eight. What's that about? Don't know what that is about. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Got the same switches in an 8x. You're in for a sweet sounding word. That sounds good to me. Hey Lightning, did you end up getting the Vega? No, I did not. I did not enter Vega. I didn't. I, I didn't even wait. I. I that this, the day of Vega. I woke up at like 4 p.m. Eastern. Something like that. Cause I went to bed at like 7 a.m. Don't don't ask me why. I was. I, I mean. Actually, ask, ask me why, but it's okay. I was playing Pummel Party with some friends. With Dennis, actually. Dennis Brochill, my one of my mods. And a few other people. Degen? Excuse you? What's wrong with playing games with your friends? I put Boba U4s in a Umir K66. I feel like I've committed a crime of being cheap. I mean... If it works, it works, right? Oh shit, look at those sub badges, that's right. Obsidian has the, the gold badge, the six month badge. And you're actually gonna get a new one soon. There's a nine month badge, so you're gonna get a new one very soon. Hey, Schnickers, thank you so much for gifting a sub to basic. Uh, all right, so let's get that. Let's get that, uh, fan. <laughs> Pummel party sounds a little dirty if you think about it. Yes, I know. I know, I know. You don't have to mention it, though.
Do you think the Vega will sound good without foam as well? Um, yeah, why not? I mean, I, I think that it's foam is one of those things that like you need to try. Like not every build sounds bad with foam, without foam and that kind of stuff. You know, sometimes the resonance isn't always there. So yeah, foam just use it whenever you think you might need it. But uh, oftentimes, I personally prefer not to. Like not even bother trying foam, and then later if I have issues with the sound, then I might try foam. All right, so a little, a little loud. No RTX voice because I'm a poor lad and I only have, I only have a 1070 and not a RTX video card. If someone would like to donate your 2080s, you are more than welcome to do so. And because you upgraded to a new 3080. Um. King for the lube, stay for the handsome man, please. There were more handsome people at that, uh, at that SoCal meetup with like a bajillion streamers, keyboard streamers. Stayed up all night for the Vega drop, even though the drop was 6 a.m. in New Zealand. Too scared I couldn't wake up on time. Yeah, I feel that. I think I would have probably done the same actually. I would have just asked a friend to like stay up with me or like play games or something and then like you know s s you know they could go to bed like at, at like 4 and I could just stay up like watching TV or something. No way Lightning you're the handsomest. Y'all just teasing. Y'all just, y'all just, y'all just smoothing words at me. Just, Trying to trying to get on my good side and stuff, thinking that I will give away some good shit. I I get it. I get it. I know you. Just kidding. <laughs> um. Anyway, as an EE, would you work in the keyboard industry? Or would you prefer to separate work and hobbies? Oh, that's a very good question, actually. Um. Cutie food. Um. If I had an opportunity to work in the keyboard industry as an electrical engineer and I didn't have like the current like career goals I have or like the passions I've kind of had like in my like lifetime I guess or like in my professional like career I guess. If that weren't the case like if I had other interests and those kind of like like the keyboard opportunity sort of presented itself I would probably hop on to the keyboard like working as an EE in the keyboard industry more specifically like hopefully like kind of like you know like there's like PC, like PCB designers in this community or like case and PCB designers you know like you know there's a bunch of people who kind of like do this and they're not necessarily full-time but like if I could work in a very like a, in a larger fashion in the keyboard community for like several years even if it's not long lasting, I actually would take up on that because first of all, it's a pretty unique opportunity. Um, it's like one of those things that like you never know what's going to happen, but at least it derives a bit from passion. And so it's going to be somewhat like, you know, it's going to be pleasant to some extent. So I would probably pick up on that for a few years and do it however, however long it lasts or however long it lasts for me as far as like if, if I like at some point feel burned out then I would probably stop but and switch over to something else but I wouldn't mind doing keyboards as work uh, if it were if it were an opportunity that presented itself but no I mean in my current state in my current like phase in my life and my aspirations and like what I want to do it's not in the cards it's like like pretty much 100% not in the cards just because I've spent so much time trying to do this thing that I'm doing and have had like I'm sorry I'm not looking at chat right now but let me finish this thought uh, have had like various trials and tribulations and various challenges that have really like tested me and like my like my resolve in doing what I'm doing and I've had really like 
a tough basically like the past three years have been probably the most difficult three years of my life and I'm like still sort of doing it and I, it feels like it would be such a waste if I abandoned it so if like a keyboard opportunity would present itself right now here like this very moment I probably would not take it um, just because I would like to see this till the end at least but yeah if I were in a different situation I maybe 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 after my maybe after I'm done with grad school I'll I'll, I'll consider it okay let me go back why couldn't I be Canadian holy Canadian for what is foam better for aluminum chassis uh, foam works for any any case um, uh, who's that? Um, Gifo, Gifo, Gifo. Uh, foam, f foam is useful if you just need to uh, reduce the space that's in the in the case, uh, and like maybe like it'll help out uh, dampen some of those vibrations and sounds that happen in the case. Uh, so plastic or aluminum, it does not matter. Okay, let's see. Trying to, trying to get one on the friends and family list. Lightning your hands up, can I get some calf? <laughs> Lightning, your voice is so nice. I want to fall asleep to it. Please. I don't, I, I don't believe it. I actually hate my voice, but yeah. Why do I have to be a beta American with an expensive healthcare cost of living and college fees? Yeah, I also have student debt. Do you get an Iron 180? I did not. Vin Keys. How does McMerlin have a fan in the roof of his room? Uh, isn't that just like a room fan? Like one of those regular room fans? Why do that when you can just be a big streamer? But that's a thing, like if... Like, okay, so basically if I were like, let's say I was like Nathan, like I was like Teha types, I was like, I, I, I like was in a position where I could capitalize on this big op opportunity on Twitch or whatever, like, you know, it's this big venture that's possible, like, you know, sub money maintains me, blah blah blah. You know, all that stuff, right? Hypothetical. I'm not sure I would take it. I I I think I feel too insecure with it. First of all, I'm not I'm not really a content creator. I'm, I'm more like I'm just like sharing these moments with you guys to like chat and like educate people while I'm doing something that, for me, is like, at this point, pretty second nature, like. I could solder this board like you know really fast and like whatever but I, I enjoy just like doing it slowly and like talking talking about other stuff but yeah I probably wouldn't take that offer at this point though in my life uh, hardest time of your life in a good or bad way both uh, oh my camera is frozen oh I didn't realize the camera was frozen how did it freeze hold up um, Weird. Sorry about the camera situation. I actually don't know what happened there. Okay, I think we're back, right? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. You're sorry, Castle, for a really long time. <laughs> I'm done through like two rows and a half. Nice shirt, yes, Salvin. Okay. Um, but yeah, Luke, Luke hates hardest time of your life in a good or bad way, both. Both. I've had both amazing moments in the past three years as well as very difficult ones for me. I had a... my first year, like in those three years, I had a... I was fighting off depression. Um, and like a lack of energy. Like an inability to commit to the things I needed to do. 
And in doing so, I also uh, spent a lot of time not doing stuff I should have done. Um, and then I would say, like, I know, I know, you know, I found very like special people around then who like helped me out. Um, and then my second year, I was playing catch up a lot of the time. And then in the third year, I failed at one of the bigger challenges in what you know in the things I needed to do. And uh, I I've mostly spent the past year trying to recuperate from that. And um, most recently, I basically decided to drop. Like in my case, it was basically medical school, so I decided to drop medical school, and I'm pursuing grad school only at this point. Is there four one k and health insurance for professional content creators? Good question. Probably not in the sense that like, if you're a professional content creator, you're self-employed, so whatever laws apply to self-employed people would class um. You would have 401k and all that stuff if um, if you file yourself as a business, like an LLC or something probably. But as a sole proprietor, I'm not sure that's possible. But yeah, that's that's like tax related, so probably have to think about that a little more. It's hard to create content. Super hard to create content. Um, only three, four months away paying off my student loan. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Uh, that's great. I, I paid a, a good chunk of my student loans when I was working uh, before coming back to school. So I, I graduated college, university, and I spent some time doing other stuff. And with the money earned during that period of time, I paid off like maybe like half of my student debt, maybe a little less. Basically, I piped a lot of my money into just my student debt. And then around the same time, I got into keyboards as I was transitioning, like, career-wise. As I was deciding to come back to academics, I, I got into keyboards. So keyboards, in a way, have been a bit of a saving grace for me, uh, because they've really been a positive energy. Uh, at the same time, a distractor, but also positive energy. Like, it, it was like a necessary evil and a good at the same time. So yeah, that's that's what keyboards have been at least for me. Uh, not the streaming specifically, but like the, the hobby in general, like the collecting and the knowing people and meetups and and like all all this stuff, like the building. But yeah, yo, what's up, Delta? You'd have 401k if the US knew how to do retirement properly. True statement. That is also kind of, yeah. Retirement funds in the United States, very strange. Although, um, I think once you start looking into it, it's not as bad. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of effed up too. Like the way IRAs work and whatnot. The cutest thing my dad did was since he knew my mother didn't like rings, he paid off her student loans instead of getting an, getting her an engagement ring. What a what a nice gesture. That is such a thoughtful and different gesture and very cute for sure. Yo, Gannibal. Mr. Gannibal, thank you so much for the raid, welcome, welcome, raiders and Ganaval. I hope you had a good stream. Getting your PhD? Yes. Well, I'm a, yeah, I will be working on it. Pay off debt or get more debt from keyboards. Yeah, right. Or more like status quo, uh, thoughtiness. It's like you pay off your debt and then you stay at the same level. Should invest in should invest in things like a, a down payment, like you know stuff for down payment and retirement. But you know keyboards, keyboards happen. I do question myself that kind of stuff often. I'm like, oh, am I uh, am I like 
Am I like doing the right thing by being keyboards? Probably not, but it makes me pretty happy and stuff. I'm, I'm you know, I like it. Uh, should I stop? And I guess the answer so far has been no, or rather, not no, but as long as I can maintain the amount of control and self awareness, it's okay. And personally, you know, I, I budget myself pretty tightly, so I, I, I know exactly how much I'm spending, like what kinds of things. Yeah. If it makes you happy, then I see, then I see no reason not to. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that, um, Obsidian. I mean, I I came upon that realization during my like that first year that I told you guys about when like I was I was into keyboards already, and then I kind of like found it as a good way to like an outlet, but not a, like an unhealthy outlet, but like just an outlet of like to like relax or like pause for a second um, and it was like yeah, it was a very positive experience for me invest in GMK sets I ha I do have a lot of GMK sets but I don't consider them an investment I actually just consider them something that I'm gonna use so I actually consider them a sunk co I actually consider pretty much everything I buy a sunk cost I do not consider anything keywords an investment because it's really not if I'm just gonna use it people would consider things an investment because they're like oh yeah it's okay because like I can always sell it, but the problem is I don't sell anything or like I mean I don't sell often anyway So I don't really ever think of it as an investment. I just think it's some cost. It's the right way to do it in my opinion because it Makes you greedy to think of things as an investment it Makes you feel like you should always be super conscientious about what is an investment Why store money in the bank when you can get multiple GMK Gregory sets this December? <laughs> Lol. Is that running this December? That's pretty cool. I'll probably get GMK Greg because I champ Lemon's a friend and I think it's a silly but fun idea. But yeah. Yeah, support GMK Gregory. <laughs> oh, I think I bent that pin. I need to take that out. Anyway, um, as I finish up, I'm going to quickly talk about the sponsors. I talked about Jack Static earlier and Mint Autumn, so we're skipping that. But um, Mint Autumn is one of the sponsors for this stream. Um, but first up, we have uh, Canon Keys. Um, so on Canon Keys right now, we have GMK Hallyu running as well as the OA Stabilizers, which uh, seem to be a blue-colored translucent competitor stabilizer to Durox stabilizers at least that's what it seems to be implied I actually don't know who is manufacturing them but it, it kind of seems like they're, they're implying that they're competing against Durox so it's kind of interesting to see um, but yeah if you're into like a blue and white slash clear sort of color stabilizer uh, there's a OA stabilizer group buy going on on Canakees right now as yes, well as GMK Hallyu, which is a uh, set themed after the nightlife of Seoul. Of Korea, rather. Next up, we have Dixie Mech. You can head on over to DixieMech.com slash Lightning to check out GMK Think Caps, which just went live today. Um, GMK Think Caps is a uh, key set that's modeled after the ThinkPad um, so you might you might clearly find that connection um, it uses several stock colors so you'll be able to match it with other of your favorite key sets um, and um, yeah pretty cool set um, I believe it starts at $110 uh, for the base kit and so on and it has like a bunch of child kits and so on and so forth And then we have Novel Keys. 
you can head on over to novelties.xyz where you can purchase any in-stock product with a 5% off discount code. You could just put Thunder during checkout to get 5% off for any in-stock item. And on Group Buy at the moment, what do we have? Uh, wait, hold up. I actually forgot for a second what the what Novel Keys has. Um, oh, GMK Honor, that's right. GMK Honor is currently running. GMK Yuri Round 2, as well as GMK Sky Data, which is like the light version of GMK Yuri. And JTK uh, Grishan, Grishan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And G uh, JTK Royal Alpha are also currently running on on Novel Keys as a group buy. Uh, but on Novel Keys, you can also find a bunch of switches, accessories, lube, switch opener, big switches, desk pads, switch film, stabilizers, keycaps, and so on and so forth. So do check out, uh, do uh, browse on novelkeys.xyc to check out what they have. They have so many products. Um, I just want street food. Thanks, Lightning. Oh, you mean from the morning today? Because I posted a, a breakfast sandwich on the key call Discord. Um, anyway, next sponsor we have is Prime Keyboards. You can head on over to primekb.com slash lightning where you can... Uh, purchase Jurox stabilizers, alpaca switches, silent alpacas. Uh, you can purchase loop stations and switch openers, among other little goodies for your switch modifying and um, and yeah, other, other, all kinds of keyboard accessories. Um, later on this year, uh, actually in December, we, uh, it's very likely that we'll have the in-stock buy for the Meridian keyboard. So if you're if you have any questions about the Meridian keyboard, I suggest you look it up. It's on GeekHack. There's an interest check. It's going to be an in-stock buy of a 60% um, ergonomic keyboard. It's a collaboration with AI03, who designed the Vega and the Polaris and the Andromeda as well. Um, next up, we have Project Keyboard, which I believe is not currently running any group buys. Uh, but you can head on over there to check out what they currently offer. There are some pre-orders available on Project Keyboard, such as GMK Dolge R5, which you can purchase for a premium of a price. But uh, if you want to guarantee your um, your set, you can certainly purchase it now before um, it actually goes out of stock. Uh, GMK Noir among and, and other sets should be coming up on there pretty soon too. Um, and um, finally, we have Salvin.com. For those of you who don't know Salvin, Salvin is a CNC machinist based in Belgium. And he actually recently got a new machine. Uh, if you go on to Salvin's Instagram, Instagram.com slash Salvin, you can check out his new stories uh, about the installation of his new CNC machine. Uh, so he's expanding his production capabilities and he's doing a lot of collabs. Um, very, very soon he will be doing the Aurora 65, which is a keyboard designed by um, Oblotsky Industries. Um, and Salvin uh, will participate in the process of manufacturing. And I suggest you check out the interest check for that. Um, I believe, I think, is Zambaman around still? I think Zambaman will have the link handy. But will will Salvin be doing the lightning keyboard? I'm not sure. Actually, that's a good question. I'm not sure. All right, let's test this guy. Um, and um, yeah, so um, Salvin does a lot of cool stuff, um, and is also currently the proxy for um, Key Cult. Uh, 160 and 165 wrist rests for Europe. So if you're interested in those wrist rests and you're located in Europe or in other regions where you would prefer Salvin to ship to you, then I highly suggest going to salvin.com to check that out. If not, if you're in North America, uh, you can order wrist rests. Uh, you can participate in the group buy for the wrist rests at keycall.com. And yeah, Salvin does a lot of um, collaborations with keyset designers and keyboard designers and and all kinds of other people so do check out salvin's social media as well as uh his discord channel he also 
um, streams on Twitch to Salvin CNC. That's his channel name, and uh, he shows like the cool stuff he's doing at the time. Um, yeah, I think that's it for sponsors. All right, cool. I think the, the board is working, so that's good. All right, so it is time to open up this case. Okay, so let's close VN now. Yeah, it doesn't need to be there anymore. All right, let's open up this case. Okay, that's all the screws. So should come right off. So let me show you. This is the interior of the this gray KBD AX Mark II case. It has the AIO AIO3 logo here. It's a little bit of dust, but and yeah, it has this through weight made in brass, sandblasted and coated to avoid tarnishing. And this is the top piece where the plate is mounted so we just swip it over put it here let's get the screws I have them right here any recommended easy to get keycap sets under $100 um, you could get you could find enjoy PBT sets on KBD fans but you can also get novel keys uh, cherry PBT caps OSA sleeves uh, there's a variety of um, keycap sets on novel keys dot XYZ and there's some nice ones on KBD fans as cutie foo says uh, but yeah you will also have to pay for some amount of uh, shipping fees but yeah, I would suggest checking out novel keys, uh, like one up keyboards. I would suggest checking out like, um, uh, yeah, just like look up, look up for key sets like in the different keyboard stores. Um, yeah, but I think those are probably the ones I would uh, recommend. Like check novel keys, one up keyboards, KBD fans. Yeah, the first two are located in the U.S., so shipping will be probably cheaper. But uh, KD Fans is located in China, so uh, shipping fees might be different. Novelty is doing the For Honor GB before the set only covers to, to a TKL. The problem is it doesn't ship right away. It's not immediate. It's gonna. It would be. Um. It would ship like next year. So that's a long wait for someone who needs keycaps now. Okay, just making sure it was good. Okay, it looks good to me. Can put these away probably. Uh, hmm. I don't get it. What is 
what are these screws here? Why are there two types of screws? Are they the same? Oh, they're the same. Okay. I guess they're just extra screws. Alright, so once you put the case, I mean the plate and PCB, you can just you just put on the bottom piece over and then tighten these screws over. Jack's gifted 10 subs? Yeah, he did. Yo, Dennis, how's it work? I hope you had a good work day. Pretty chill day. What are your thoughts on O-rings on top and bottom mount keyboard? So O-rings where? O-rings on the like the screws that attach to the plate. I mean the, the screws that attach the plate to like the case. Um, the, the people call that like burger mount, right? Um, it could work. It, I mean, it seems to work for some cases. I think like the Canakees cases do that. Um, so yeah, um, it, it does sort of give it that a bit of that like gaskety sort of feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, um, people have been doing that and people have been saying good things about it. Um, like a uh, burger mount is what people call it, I think. O-ring burger mount, something like that. And people, people seem to enjoy it, so... And I tried the Savage 65, which was also pretty nice with the burger mount, actually. Uh, I think it's useful if, like, you design it for it to work like that. Like, you do need to make a little bit of room for the O-ring to sit and to be compressible. The O-ring needs to be somewhat compressible. It can't be too weak either, though. Burger mount is quite nice. I have it in my Brutal 16 it works well. Yeah, exactly. All right, so the key set for today is actually decided already. So speaking of white on black, uh, Mr. Gawk, the client said, sent a set of white and black but maybe today we can use that gmk white and black zuyan alphas maybe we could try that because both of them arrived i mean both of them are here rather so we can use some mods from here and then we can put some gmk zuyan keycaps i hate these new trays look at this sound look at this the sound of keycaps moving around in there I'm gonna bag these keycaps after this is open. And look at this. Look at look at look at the tray. Do you guys see? It's it's I mean I didn't crush it, it was already like this. From the weight of the trays being in the pallet, I guess. Yeah, they, they these new trays are no bueno. All right, so we'll get GMP zooming on it, which I believe is just alphas. So I think all I need to do is put modifiers on. I, I had no idea that set ran. I would have gotten it. Eat it. I've already done that um, CA beggar. Now I see why y'all think the trays are whack. It's not just that. It also like... Okay, let me show you. Like some of these caps have a bit of like like white little specks. It's like basically like little like fibers of the of like the paper material or whatever they're using. It's it's just like not good, not convenient. It's just not ideal. Oops, I fr I, fr I I screwed up.
doesn't drops uh, black on white run all the time? I mean, uh, white on black run all the time? Yeah, they, they restock white on black every so often. I heard a wire pop. Hold up. I heard a wire pop. When the wire pops, you just grab some tweezers and apply force inwards towards the socket. There you go. Something must, be, must have been tight or something. Okay. Got to be careful with that then. Yeah, we're doing standard ANSI today. So look, it comes with these, see those like little white specks and stuff? This is because of the tray. to ask again but were you about to say something about jtk sets but you lost track what was a catch uh jtk sets um i think i personally think that they are improving but um i think over the years they've sort of shown that they they might still need a little bit of work on like legend consistency and stuff but overall for the price though it's it's like you get a pretty good deal like they're still like thick abs cherry profile double shots pretty good quality actually um i actually really like my jtk hana set Although, like, it might have some, like, legend issues, but I pretty much don't really mind them, personally. But, yeah, some people do, though. Some people are very picky about their stuff, so. But for the price, they offer a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Alright, let's check out the Zuyin caps again. Oh, this comes with space bars, too. Okay. Well, I don't need that, so... Oh, the pipe key is a regular pipe key. Okay. So, I'm just gonna use... Keycaps right here. So I don't confuse myself. So anything that has a special character... Well, anything that has a special character, I'll make sure to... Do Zooey in. It looks like punctuation marks here and here. And then the rest seems Zuyin stuff. Uh, okay, let's, let's try. Okay, just like know that. It would be pretty nice if gym key sets had conventional win keys. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have been against that because they don't use win Windows. A lot of people use Mac, Linux, like etc. So um, pr they prefer a OS neutral uh, key like code or super. Oh, 
<laughs> Linux best operating system. I'm sure there's people who will disagree with you, but that's okay. That's very meta. <laughs> no pun intended, huh? <laughs> Get a Bart. It's a very nice. Buenos nachos. Buenos nachos. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Great success. Really doesn't know the movie, so I went here. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. -y. escape key slot so what should I put on there name a maker how about that name a maker who's your favorite maker ETF ETF okay ETF SISM I don't think I have that much SISM cabs actually though yeah Let's, we can do ETF. Do people like ETF? I, I only see two suggestions, so... TGR. TGR is not an artisan keycap maker. John. <laughs> guys want to see my ETF artisan collection? This is my Nightcaps Arzen collection. Are you ready? <laughs> There's a bunch of other caps here that I can't fit, so... Do you need help? CYSM, SISM, easy clap. All right, so, oh, that's a toper cap. Instead of actual ETFs, this guy has artisan ETFs. <laughs> F5, wait, F5, egg face? F5, what's F5? F F5? Is this F5? See no evil? It's a very nice. Up, up, wait. Up two over one? Oh, you mean chess man? This is chess man? White face. Oh, okay. This is, um, was this a fiduciary responsibility? I think. Fiduciary Responsibility X Phase V1.2. All right. Nope. This is your 401k. Not false. This is basically my 401k. Artisan retirement, here I come. Alright. 
It's a lot of artisans. Yeah. Don't don't look at me like that. I know what you're. I know what you guys are thinking. This guy's addicted. This guy has problems. Actually, let's use the other cable. This one probably fits it better anyway. How's that? Pretty nice, huh? Alright, so let me see. Let me test things around. Okay. Um, okay, so... Via... Alright. Let's do this typing test thing. Figurines anonymous group counseling soon. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Fiducial responsibility is funny after looking at the collection. <laughs> the irony. The irony. Alright. So this is a KBD Edix Mark II with alpacas on a brass plate. Two rock stabs, two five grade zero with GMK 1 and Black and GMK 1 and Black Zuyin Alphas, which are, which I just got in the mail. So let's try it out. That's that's also like wait. All right. These are these are the mods. I'm gonna do this again though. Wait, this ship is not fully seated.
Why do the shifts on this board sound strange? Do they? Sounds strange still? Is there a foam in this? There's no foam. Oh yeah, when the keycap's not like seated center properly, it it can it can sound off. Split right shift my EO87 or nah nah. No split right shift on TKL, my friend. Um, anti split right shift on TKL. All right, let's try this typing test again because that was terrible. The sirens are here. Yeah, the sirens are not here. I don't hear any sirens here. Still it pairs. Twenty-five, a little better. Oh, nuclear nachos! Nice. Congrats, everyone! Clap, clap for nuclear nachos. Oh, there's no. I don't have a nice clapping emote. But congrats, congrats. Do I? Oh, I do have a capital clap. Nice. Anyway, so that's what it sounds like. Looks pretty nice with white and black on gray. This is what the board looks like. What software is this called? Monkeytype.com. Monkeytype.com. All right. So this is the board. Oh, is it focusing? There we go. And then again, this is the side of the board. The bottom. As you can see, the anodizing's really good quality really really nice quality this time and I mean not like this time it's it's been every time for me but so apparently some people have had issues before but I, I certainly haven't seen any issues with these so far so far so good um, so people have said like they see fading and such but I, I really haven't seen any of that yet thanks a lot seriously I'm gonna love this board oh pastry SC is this for you well I'm glad. I'll put your keycaps on then after I'm done. I'll probably do a typing test uh, video. I'm probably not going to do pictures of the board this time around. I was telling uh, your friend. But yeah. I, I hope you'll like it. I'm, I'm glad you're excited though. The stabs came out pretty nice, actually. 
Um, I realized that when I'm doing the typing test, I kind of put my thumb so close to the space bar and like kind of leave it there that like when I let go, uh, it has a different sound than when you just press it like normally. But for most typists, it'll, it'll sound like this. But for me, sometimes I like leave it there and so it kind of might sound like a little different. If you do split spaces, you fix that. <laughs> this guy. All right. Hey, a hey pandas. Hello. Split. I will. I would do split space on a seven U space bar if I could do three U, one U, three U. Only. <laughs> Gotta be symmetrical. If it if it weren't, I probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, the current state of split spacebar, nah, my bad. The current state of split spacebar is is not not as good. I only set the Sangin layouts. Yeah, seven U bottom row, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Do you rebuild it in mode eighty? It was not mine, so. No, I sent it out to, it was actually um, international. So I sent it out overseas after I was done. Yeah. So it went, it went a far trip away from this coast. All right, y'all got any questions? I've been debating between that and U80. I see. I think the U80 is slightly cheaper, right? Actually, both are nice boards. I mean, uh, both are nice boards with boards with their own. They may have their own merits, but uh, personally, I would probably choose a U80 because I actually I like the aesthetic a little bit more, and it also has pretty cool colors. I personally like the soya. Oh, so good. So good. The soya color is, is really, really nice. But I mean, there's other colors too, so you can probably choose from those other ones as well. All right, let's see. Am I missing anything? The mode 80 release the group by prices. Oh, I see. Group by prices. I see, I see. But group by price means it's gonna take some time, huh? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess a U80 would also take some time. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I mean, there's different reviews out there of both boards, I think. So you could probably base yourself off of that. I personally, my experience was um, pretty neutral on the mode. I haven't tried a U80 actually. Uh, maybe I'll get a U80 soon. Um, I heard someone was interested in sending one, but I haven't heard back yet. So, do you update your own videos? What do you mean, Rivies? Yeah, I think the in stock price of the Mode 80 is kind of pricey for sure. I'm not sure how much like how I feel about it, but. Like in, as far as price goes, it's like just like a lot of money to give up, I guess. Um, edit? Oh, Rivius. Um, other than cropping the length of the videos, I don't do any single thing to any of my typing videos. None of my typing videos have any form of editing. All I do is cut the parts where I'm not typing, and that's it. But like audio, like white balance, all that stuff is like whatever comes out of the camera is whatever gets recorded and put up. Uh, why? Because I don't know how to edit things. <laughs> I don't know how to edit things. I tried using like Resolve one time and it rendered the video and it was like weird. It was like not, not right. Juan Wonton, hello. 
Hola. How are you? How goes it? It goes okay. We're actually towards the end of the stream. Um, just wondering if people had any questions and stuff. We just typed on it for a sec. I like that deathmat. Yeah, these this deathmat is nice, Topri. Topri deathmat. I have a little stain here and there, but it's it's I've I've had this deathmat for like three years, so yeah. Have you tried any hyperglides yet? No, I haven't. Uh, nobody has sent any hyperglides, and I certainly haven't bought any, so no. How's the rubber membrane on it? <laughs> um, this feels like um, like 180 grams to me. Um, silly pears. It's very, very, uh, very hard to press. Very hard to collapse this this dome. Would you recommend a polyplate or alu on the Tofu 65 for a first board? Um, hmm, actually. I think, I think trying out an aluminum plate would not hurt because it would give you a good sense of what, like it gives you a good baseline because aluminum is like everywhere. And having your first board be aluminum kind of will give you a baseline to start off with. And then when you start trying out boards with different plates, you'll kind of figure out what differences actually are. PCB though, uh, don't they have the DZ65 for it? So I think that's probably what I would use. Um, I think that's what fits it, right? So yeah. I love my 100, 185 gram springs. Meme springs. I thought it was not in stock. Oh, I see. I, 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 I didn't know. Have you what? Have you tested a duck frozen to a- oh, no, 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 I don't know. Wait, is that a thing? Ducky, is it a ducky? Ducky frozen? Is that ducky frozen llama? Duck one too many, is that what it is? Oh, okay, those in fro- ducky frozen llama? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I have not. I've tried uh, like some ducky boards though, yeah, but not, not that specific one. Ducky boards are fine, um, but you know, OEM is OEM. You probably need to like, I probably would want to like modify it a bit, like loop the stabs. Yeah. How have you enjoyed the matcha? I actually sent it out to the Nate Dunn, uh, but while I had it, um, it was actually pretty nice. Um, I thought the type feel was, well, it was brass plate, so it was what I expected from brass plate. So pretty sturdy and pretty like, you know, like pretty solid. But the sound was good. Uh, I mean, it had the foam in it too. So a lot of the sound was kind of dissipated into the foam. So yeah, it was, it was good though. It was, a good, it was a good typing experience so far. I mean, it was just like Alice layout board. So I was not like surprised by it. It was, it was just good for it, what it is. And the quality of the board was pretty good for the price. Like it was like good anno, no, no like actual like glaring issues. Um, Overall, the design seemed okay to me. I mean, people were complaining about, oh, like the port was centered on the horizontal length of the board, but it wasn't centered on the the split of the ergo section. So like, you know, if, the, if it were in the split of the ergo section, it would be something like here, but instead it was like dead center in the board. So people are like, oh, that throws me off. But other than that, like, I think people, I, I think people's like opinion was that like, it was like pretty good. And I certainly can corroborate with that. I'm gonna copy the RGB and accent kit from JMK ThinkCaps. I was seeing you using using it on a GB. Oh, I see. Yeah, RGB. I like RGB uh, YK, which is the one with the black legends. Ducky nice for it is. Yeah, I agree. Still have FOMO from Huru stream. No, seriously, Jinte, dude. All these 
good looking talented keyboard streaming dudes and grace at that meetup do you have a favorite board uh these days i really like my juvie i really really like my juvie um but like other boards like i like my jane v2 i like my um i mean i like my toper boards just because they're comfortable to use like hkb real force um but um yeah like i like my jmv2 among my t kills i like my came back happy among my 60 percents i uh like different layouts i really enjoy the the juby thus far i actually have a an exent and i really like that uh it's just like so unique but it, it's a fun board to type on. Imagine living in SoCal. Yeah, seriously. Keone, imagine. SMH. Oh, who are these sus gentlemen in chat? How's your Xeno? Xeno's pretty good, actually. My Ergo, the Ergo clears on my Xeno are pretty nice. Um, I actually really like it with the Ergo clears. I actually wouldn't want to rebuild it because I really like those Ergo clears on the Xeno. The Xeno actually has a very bouncy type feel after I put the palm plate on, so it, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Clears good, heavy good. Not there, they're not super heavy, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm gonna look into, see if we could raid, maybe. Let me see who's available. Half palm plate really saved my Xena from being sold. Yeah, half palm plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, so I, I tried the brass plate first. It was okay, actually. It was just what I expected from brass, right? Uh, but when I put the half palm plate and like had the ergo clears, I had that like bouncy feel to it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Who should we raid? Mentally. Max F. Hugo. Oh, Hugo. I haven't seen Hugo in a while. Manoli. Well, Manoli's playing games, though. He's not doing keyword stuff. If you guys wanted to see keyword stuff. Bueno. Oh, yeah, Bueno. Oh, wait, where is he? Oh, okay, I see him. Uh, bueno Builds is also streaming. Um, who else? I think that's it. There's a few like smaller people I think that I have never seen, but yeah. Yeah, so who should we raid? Vote for someone or say something. I've seen one for Bueno, one for MaxF. What? Um, that's in. That's like not 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 cool, dude. Tornado. The, this is my last warning. That's that's actually not cool. Max F, Andy, two for, three for Max F. All right, I guess we'll raid a Max F today. All right, let's say uh, it's Max F live. Um, all right, yeah, Max F live. Uh, Tornado got a warning for saying stupid shit. Um, all right, all right, we're raiding Max F. So thank you everyone for stopping by today. Um, this is a pretty interesting build. I actually really like it. I'll probably actually upload a typing test on this one. Um, and other than that, um, expect me to be building some more stuff later on. Um, what do I have in the pipeline? I actually don't remember anymore. 
I'm waiting for some parts actually, that's what it is. Yeah, so I, at least until I get some parts in, I can't be building anything new. Oh, maybe I'll build my K soon. Uh, so we might be doing that if I don't have anything else to build. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be getting some stuff in, so I'll have some other client boards. Oh, Stray Chroma, hello. We're about to leave. Courtney, hello, hello. Thank you so much for stopping by anyway. Delacast, Tim Keyless, thank you so much. Keone, Ras, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a, it was a good stream. It was a fun one. And Apiary raided, she was so nice. Um, and we're gonna go raid Max. All right, let's get going. See you guys, have a great night. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your week and I'll probably see you later this week. Bye-bye.